Hello, Shalom Kaysen here with the Rosary Challenge. And yesterday was day 64. Did I do it? Yes, I did. How did I feel? Um, I got done pretty late, as usual. I try to get done early, but it doesn't always happen. Uh, so I don't think I felt any way in particular, but um, it always feels good just to get it done. And doing the full rosary every day is actually building up my tolerance to do things that sometimes I don't want to do. And that is a big problem in our world today. People are always thinking about instant gratification, pleasure, and many people just don't do the things that are hard anymore. They'd rather watch TV or play video games or watch YouTube or whatever. So it's really building up my tolerance for doing things that sometimes I don't want to do, <clears throat> which is helping me in my business life, my school, um, graduate school life, and other things like that. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about Rosary Miracles. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Lepanto. So let me read this little uh, story of the Battle of Lepanto. <clears throat> the Battle of Lepanto was a crucial conflict between the Christians and the Ottoman Turks. One day the greatest naval battle of all the time. Rather, one of the greatest naval battles of all time. The Christian lands around Greece and the Eastern Mediterranean were constantly getting sacked by Muslim pirates, and imperial warships were ravaging the land. At this point in time, Pope St. Pius V saw it appropriate to raise a crusade against these heathen Muslims. After raising a crusade, he asked every non-combatant across the whole Christian world to pray the rosary. Even after this call to arms, the Christian fleet at Lepanto was greatly outnumbered by the Ottoman Turks. The Rather, the crusaders got on their knees and began to pray the rosary. Soon after, the Christians and the Muslims were immersed in a bloody battle. Thus, it was that on October 7, 1571, the Christian fleet was blessed with a miraculous victory. Pope St. Pius V immediately dedicated the victory to Our Lady, establishing October 7th as the Feast of the Most Holy Rosary. So, uh, th there you have it. That is the miracle of the Battle of Lepanto. That description doesn't really explain a lot of the things that happened. Um, there, um, I'm not exactly sure of the numbers, but it was like one to five. The Muslim ships, there were five more Muslim ships for every one Christian ship and uh, the the Muslim fleet the Turks were completely destroyed their navy was completely destroyed and I believe the Christian fleet maybe lost like five percent of of their ships also at the beginning of the battle the wind was blowing in favor of the Turks but uh, once they started praying the rosary the wind changed directions to be in favor of the Christians and there was also some rain and other things like that that was getting in the eyes of the Turks so they couldn't um, fight effectively and they were totally routed they were completely um, destroyed also another miracle that happened during that battle there are a number of them maybe I can go into more detail on another day but there was a huge crucifix on the flagship of the Christians Don Juan was Yes, his name was Don Juan. Don Juan was the um, general or leader of the entire captain. I don't know what word it is for the Navy of the entire fleet. And he had a huge crucifix on his ship. And uh, the Turks shot a cannonball that was going to hit the crucifix. But the crucifix miraculously moved. The, the body or corpus on the crucifix moved so that the cannonball would miss and it never moved back. So you can see that statue in Spain today and the crucifix, the corpus is moved to the right some. So, I mean, a lot of miracles happen, but this battle of the Ponto was decisively won by the Christians when they shouldn't have won. They, it, it shouldn't have been, it should have been a total and utter destruction, but the Christians did win, even though they were outnumbered and even though the Turks had the upper hand. So that's another miracle of the rosary, the battle of Lepanto. And it just goes to show you how important it is to pray the rosary and to um, ask for all the grace that are contained 
within the rosary and to become closer and closer to our blessed Lord Jesus Christ by meditating on the moments and the, the um, what's the word I'm looking for? <clears throat> the moments and the times in his life when he really was, you know, doing his public ministry and making a difference in the world, it, saving all of us, really. So, um, like I always say, pray the rosary, pray for me, and until next time, stay holy and God love you. Oh, I always forget to say that I have links in the description box below all about the rosary, all about miracles of the rosary, um, audio rosaries, how to pray the rosary, and different things like that. So check out those links um, if you will. That's it. Till next time, God love you.